Welcome to the University of Maryland College Park Chemistry Library. I'm Svetla Boykusheva and I uh, take uh, care of the administrative operations of the library, but in addition to that, um, I also teach chemical information in uh, many chemistry courses. Some of these courses are very large, like uh, the course of organic chemistry that I'm, in which I'm teaching right now is 800 students, and another course is 500 students. Um, I would like to give you a tour of the library, which is a very old library, but it is very highly attended. We have more than 140,000 visits per year, which is quite remarkable, I would say, uh, on a national scale. Um, one of the reasons that the library is so highly attended is because we are very close to the lecture halls, and it is very convenient for students to come and sit and study and find information. Uh, we are going to do a tour now of the library. Uh, we have three floors. Uh, most of the operations are uh, on the main floor where we have a lot of computers um, and other uh, technologies. This is the main floor of the chemistry library. We have a circulation desk where we have 12 students working. This is Cassidy Sharp, who is one of our students. And uh, we're very happy with our students because they really work very uh, um, long shifts and we have only one single coverage uh, per, per hour. Um, this is the main floor of the library and uh, we have a lot of services that we provide here like uh, reserves uh, for courses uh, and um, uh, equipment for loan. Uh, students can check out uh, laptops and other equipment. And this is a reference section which is quite small now uh, because we are getting such uh, online uh, resources like SciFinder and Reaxis. So students are uh, taught how to use this rather than go to print uh, reference materials. But I would like to point out also that we have the ACS style guide uh, which helps students and researchers um, write their papers and their books. Um, and uh, when I teach chemical information, I don't focus only on the chemistry databases uh, and how to find property information, but I also introduce students to using a bibliographic management program that is uh, helping students how to arrange their literature and also insert citations in Word documents when they're writing their papers. So this is the reference section here. Although we have purchased the whole uh, back file uh, online of the American Chemical Society journals, uh, we still keep the print uh, editions of them uh, until we decide to repurpose uh, this space. We have, for example, all volumes of the uh, Journal of the American Chemical Society, JAX, back to its first um, issue in 1876. So um, we, we value this print because it is kind of a historical mark for us to have uh, all these ACS journals, uh, not only virtually, but also um, um, as a print presence. Uh, this is the same for all other chem uh, American Chemical Society journals. Of course, with time uh, and uh, pressure put on us to repurpose the, the space, uh, I suppose um, in, in a few years we will have to remove these print journals, but I wanted to show how much we value the ACS journals 